So, welcome to my reorganized bookshelves. And if you haven't already guessed by the title of the video, today we are going to be playing Reread, Rewrite or Burn. And the premise of this is I pick three books out at random and then I say whether I would reread the book, rewrite the book or burn the book out of the three books, one for each. And I thought because I'd read quite a large number of books this year, I would pick out some of the best ones and do that. But what I've decided to do, I've decided to pick the books from my 2020 red list, but leave out the two scripts that I've read, which were Prepare to Meet Thy Tomb by Norman Robbins and The 39 Steps. Um, because they're scripts, it's much harder to compare them to books, so I'm going to leave them out. And also, I did the 24-hour readathon of the saga of Darren Shan. So I decided instead of individually put all of those books in, because a lot of them are the same, plus I don't fully remember what happened in each individual book because they they just all blurred into one. So I decided to just put them in as one book of the entire saga of Darren Shan. So overall, I have 18 books this year that I've read in my trusty little Rudolph is my bestie mug. They're all in there. And I'm going to pick three out at random each time. And with there will be six rounds. And we will go from there. So, let's see which ones I pick out first. Right. So we have... The Saga of Darren Shan. By Darren Shan. Then we have... Elevator Pitch by Linwood Barclay. And then... The Cornwalls Are Gone, or Out of Sight as it's known in England, by James Patterson. Oh no, that's tricky, because the saga of Darren Sham was very, very good. I think I gave every single book a full rating, but I absolutely loved it. And then Out of Sight, I gave a four star rating. And then Elevator Pitch, I gave a five star. <sighs> this is tricky. Right, let me pick which one I would burn. I think I would burn Out of Sight just because it had the storyline of uh, someone from the armed services. That's not really my kind of plot line. It was very good. Just out of, that's probably the one out of them all that I enjoyed the least. So that's burnt, which made me really sad because I didn't want to burn that one. Um, so between the saga of Darren Shan and Elevator Pitch. I really like the saga of Darren Shan. I'd reread the saga of Darren Shan because I really enjoyed it and I thought it was great. And I've already considered another reread despite the fact that I've already done it. And with Elevator Pitch, there were a few issues that I would have ironed out. For example, I would make the showdown that was meant to happen on Friday actually happen on Friday. I'm still not over it. And maybe I've just added a bit more bit more mystery in there from the start got rid of everything that was basically mentioned in the blurb everything that was mentioned in the blurb and there was nothing new to the story until quite a bit of the way in so i'd maybe just jiggle a bit of that around maybe it even just jiggle the blurb around and just change that so it give away less details but yeah that's what i would do i would burn out of sight i would reread the saga of darren shan and i would rewrite elevator pitch by linwood barclay on to round two. I don't know why I'm closing my eyes. It makes no difference. Okay, and this is the Daddy Needs a Date by Shawn Michael. And then next we have 113 Minutes by James Patterson. And lastly, Lord of the Flies, William Golding. Oh, okay. Um... I would, I'd reread 130 minutes. Because as much as I think I would have preferred to rewrite this, of the ones chosen, I prefer that one. So I'd reread 130 minutes. And then Daddy Needs a Date and Lord of the Flies. I think the Lord of the Flies has such a good premise. But I just didn't enjoy it because maybe of the way it was written, it was just a bit slow moving for me. Whereas Daddy Needs a Date was just, it wasn't bad. It was, it was just, it was not my thing at all. So I'd burn Daddy Needs a Date and I would rewrite 
the Lord of the Flies, just to add a bit more tension, a bit more action in there, and just maybe bring it up to date. Because I think if it was rewritten in a language that we're used to now and more of the fast-paced writing style that I'm used to with more modern writers, I would have really enjoyed the plot a lot more and it would have gotten a higher rating. I think it was just the writing style that maybe just dropped it down to the rating it actually got. Because overall, I did enjoy the story. So yeah, I would rewrite that and just update it to more modern writing. Okay. Oh, this is actually easier than I thought. I've just jinxed myself, haven't I? Round three. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. The Host by Stephanie Meyer. I'm dreading this one now. And In an Instant by Suzanne Redfern. Oh no. I loved all of them. Right, I'd burn Peter Pan. But I loved Peter Pan. I would burn Peter Pan because the other two I loved a hell of a lot more. So yeah, burn Peter Pan. And then in an instant, or the host. I love both of them. I absolutely loved both of them. The social commentary of the host was like nothing I've ever read before. But in an instant was so raw and emotional that that, that got me. Uh... Purely based on the fact that throughout the book of the host, the characters of Melanie and Jared weren't likeable. Purely based on that, I would rewrite the host to make those characters more likeable. Because I think Stephanie and I wanted to make the characters struggle, make them have the character flaws to make us fall in love with them because they're not perfect. But... I just didn't like them. It came to a point where I thought I wanted Melanie to fade away and Wanda to stay in the body. And I think that might have been the intention because the author wanted us to really like Wanderer, but not at the expense of Melanie. And I was willing to sacrifice Melanie. So I'd rewrite them two characters because I think everything else was absolutely perfect. And... And in an instant, I just loved. I didn't think there was any issues with it. I absolutely loved it. The emotions were raw. It, it broke my heart to read. I absolutely adored the book. So yeah, that's how I'd do it. Okay, that was the hardest one I've ever done. Next round. I don't know how many rounds we've got in anymore. I'm just completely lost. Oh, I've picked two up. Okay. Cradle and All by James Patterson. The People vs. Alex Cross by James Patterson, and whatever this one is. Our Little Cruelties by Liz Nugent. Right. I really liked Our Little Cruelties. I really like The People vs. Alex Cross. But I really like Cradle and All. Wow, this is actually the hard one. Just because they're all the same star rating. There's none that are lower. Um, I think... I think I would rewrite Our Little Cruelties. Because I think that the way it was set out, the the fact that the, there was time jumps of back, back in time. Oh, Jesus, what the hell was that? Something just fell and it scared me. I think the time jumps of something went back in time, then forward in time, and it was so hard to keep up at where in each character's lives we were. I'd change that, I'd just make it a very linear, linear narrative. Um, and then also, also I really just, as much as I loved the ending, because I thought that was really good, I didn't like the ending as well. It felt like a bit of a cop-out. There was not as much drama as I thought there was going to be. So I'd add a little bit more drama to that. So then, Cradle and All and The People vs. Alex Cross. I'd reread The People vs. Alex Cross. Because I love Alex Cross. I love the character. I love the series as a whole. Whereas Cradle and All, that was a great book. I really enjoyed it. But I, I, maybe I won't read it again. I... This is really difficult. But yeah, I'm sticking with that. 
I'd reread The People vs. Arts Cross, rewrite Our Little Cruelties, and burn Cradle and All. So, there we go. Right, I don't know how many, two more left, I think. So. The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heaven the Morris. Distance by me. <laughs> and. Oh, Airport Code Red by James Patterson. Right. Mm, now I thought this was going to be simple. I thought I'd burn the tattooist. My original thinking when the first two came out was I would burn the tattooist of Auschwitz because I just didn't like it. I liked the story, didn't like how it was written. I didn't like the writing style at all. Then I would rewrite my book because I know exactly how I'd rewrite it. The story was great, but it just needs work on the writing because there are errors in it. It's not it was just something I did for a hobby so I didn't really put that much thought into it and then whatever it was was reread but I really hated airport code red <sighs> right I would burn airport code red because I really really disliked it so yeah burn gone and then I really don't want to read I don't want to reread tattooist so I'd rewrite The Tattooist of Auschwitz to make the writing style a bit easier, make it more of the story to keep me enticed into it. And then I'd reread my book, which I swear that was not my original intention. My original intention was I was going to rewrite my book because I knew, I, I just, I know there's issues with it, so I would rewrite it. But in terms of storyline, I love my line, my storyline more. And the Tattooist of Auschwitz, it pained me to read because of how it was set out. So I'd rewrite that, burn airport code red. So for the final time, I, there's no point picking out one by one, is there? I'm just going to take out all three. So, so The Goldfinch by Donna Tartt. Said that proper common. Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. And Carrie by Stephen King. I had absolutely forgotten about all of those books. So I'm glad they've come up. Right. I would... I'd burn the goldfinch. Again, that was one I was thinking I'd rewrite. But no, I'd burn the goldfinch. I would rewrite Annihilation. Because I think the story is so good. The concept is amazing. It just wasn't written in a way that I enjoyed. I just didn't enjoy it. I love the fact that there were four main female characters because I think, excellent, that's what we want. Um, I love the story of going into this inhabitable area to find more out about it. There was just no payoff and it didn't work. So I'd rewrite that and I'd reread Carrie. So that's it, I'm done. Oh, that was actually easier than I thought. There were some very tricky ones, but I'm so glad that I did that. That was a lot of fun. I think I'm going to do this more often. So... That is it from me. I've played reread, rewrite, or burn. I have had some difficult choices. I've had some very easy choices. So, that is it from me. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, and then intermittently throughout the week. So, thanks all for watching, and until next time, see you later.